Hello everyone, in today's lesson we're going to be talking about exponential growth and decay. So first for some definitions, an exponential function can model the growth or decay of an initial amount of something. And the parent function of exponential functions is y is equal to b raised to the x power. And here the domain will always be all real numbers and the range is y is greater than zero. And in an exponential growth such decay, each part of the equation represents something specific. So the a that is multiplied out on the front, that is going to be your starting amount. So if I'm looking at the exponential growth of the population of a city, the starting amount of that city, let's say if it was like 100,000, that would be your a. b is what you're doing to your problem. So let's say the population is doubling, or let's say it's increasing at a rate of 3%. That's where you're going to see that reflected into your equation. And then x is always going to represent your time. And normally we'll use the variable t here. So let's go ahead and look at an example of an exponential function. So let's say I had y is equal to 2 raised to the x power. That's what your exponential function looks like. I see that it starts small and then grows exponentially as your x value gets bigger. And I see that this graph, it never crosses into the negative of the y-axis. It never crosses. And so that's why the range is y is greater than zero because it never crosses it here and so we call this the asymptote of, of this function we see that the x-axis is the asymptote because the function never crosses the x-axis and this would be an example of a exponential growth an exponential decay on the other hand an example of that would be Get rid of that too, one half to the x. And so I see this kind of flipped around. Now it's starting up high in value, and as x gets bigger, y gets smaller. And again, I see the asymptote here is the x-axis because this graph never crosses the x-axis. So we're going to be looking at, two, the, again, the two different types. There's exponential growth and there's exponential decay. So in fact, about exponential growth is that B, the growth factor, is always greater than 1. And the growth factor B is always 1 plus the percent rate of change. So if I'm writing an exponential growth function, it would be Y is equal to the start value, which again is your A, times 1 plus R raised to the t. And so that means this whole 1 plus r is really just your b value from above. And here r is equal to the rate. And the important thing here is we write this as a decimal. So for example, if my rate was 0 0.02, to write that as a decimal, I would move the decimal place 2 to the right, and that would become 2%. Okay, and then looking at facts about exponential decay, for exponential decay, B, the decay factor, is always between 0 and 1. And the decay factor B is always 1 minus percent rate of change. So if I'm writing this function to be y is equal to the start value, which again is your a, times 1 minus r raised to the t. And so now here b is equal to 1 minus r. So let's look at some examples of identifying exponential growth or exponential decay. Here my number one, I have y is equal to 2 to the x. I want to determine whether this function represents exponential growth or exponential decay. Well, here my b value is equal to 2. 
which is greater than 1. And since it is bigger than 1, we see that this is going to be exponential growth. Okay, number 2, I have y is equal to 1 half raised to the x. Here, my b is equal to 1 half, which is between 0 and 1. So since it's between 0 and 1, this is going to be exponential decay. And then I see for this last one, my b value, what's raised to the x power, is 1.5. And that is greater than 1, so that means that this one is going to be exponential growth.